said you're a little meathead. He said he's never heard of you. Cool. He said you sound salty, mm -hmm. and he told you to beat it. Averaging nine points a game over your career, just two it. rebounds, two, two assists just two over your career. That's it? Top ten pick, you know what that sound like what to that me? Sound like? In the streets, we call you a bust. Oh. That's what that sound like. So the question is, could an NBA player play in the NFL or could an NFL player play in the NBA? Which one would have the easiest transition? Which sport is easier overall? Well, Austin Rivers started this whole issue, so let's hear what Austin said that got the world to set a blaze. All right, Austin, let's hear it. Look at you. You're talking about the Cavs today. You're, you're, you're stretching That's out. Right. We got to get you outside of that football lane, man, where the guaranteed contracts are, where the best athletes in the world are. That's us. We, wow. I can take 30 players right now in the NBA and throw them in the NFL. You cannot uh, take 30 NFL players and put them in the NBA. Whoa. Oh, oh, yeah, it's because you only allowed five on the court. Let's just, mm -hmm. let's all relax. Yeah, it's because you get a break every play. All you got to do is catch the ball and run north or south. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> our sport, it ain't, that, it ain't complex. So our sport's better. Our sport's better because we would just create a position for one of you five, two, 40 running six foot <laughs> 10 yeah. guys and just put them, you know, can't get hit much, fragile. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. A little thin, very we would just create a position mm -hmm. because we got big brains. Hey, listen, thank NBA you, you, is thank a fantastic. Go. Let's not get crazy though. About <laughs> Thirty guys could go in there. I mean, who's coming? Uh, up? Anthony Edwards. I can, I can, got five oh, max. We got Anthony Edwards coming over. Five Jimmy max? Butler. Russ. Oh, oh, you guys are drunk early in the morning. Russell, Russell Westbrook. Westbrook. No Russell Westbrook. Zion at left tackle. Zion would be fantastic, yeah. Yeah. but mm -hmm. then he would just be our. It'd be he'd just be a football player, man. Yeah. which he has been maybe this entire time. Pretty much. Think okay. about them okay. running in these. You know what oh, I mean? Oh man! Like it is. Fish it's out just of water. Nonetheless, you guys are great athletes. Okay. Well, this clip set the internet on fire. There's been so many responses. Even JJ Watt had something to say, basically making fun of Austin Rivers for not having a job. Remember, guys, Austin Rivers played in the NBA for 11 years. He's the son of Doc Rivers. You know, great NBA player, questionable coach. We saw what happened with the Bucks, but and he was even once traded by his own dad. Imagine your dad's your head coach and he trades you, right? But Austin Rivers also has one of the greatest hoop mixtapes of all time. This guy went viral in high school for his skills. He was a great college player. He's a great basketball player as well. He's not, of course, an all-star or anything like that, but the man can actually hoop. But as you know, J.J. Watt got upset, but then James Jones comes into the picture with this response, and it's absolutely amazing. Let's just get this straight. Um, number one, mm. they put in a flop rule in the NBA because you guys are soft. Oh, no. Mm. Oh, God. See, now you guys got started, James started. I started a trend of rest games. That's, that's mm. what y'all started. And now y'all want extra votes and all that type of stuff to win the MVP because you only play 22 games out of 82. Y'all started that. So y'all all start. Number two. You said 30 Three. dudes. If you would have said one dude, uh, maybe Anthony Edwards could play safety or something, I would have listened to you or something like that. You said 30 dudes. No. Number one, put respect on our sport. That's number one. It is not just run and catch the ball and turn around. It ain't just hand the ball off and do that. It takes a lot of work at your craft to do what we do on the football field. And Austin Rivers, if you stepped on the football field, homeboy, you wouldn't make it. We know that right now because you barely made it in the NBA. And I'm just keeping it a buck. Football is not an easy game, dog. That's why a lot of football players, uh, basketball players that stepped on the football field stepped right back on the basketball court because it's not an easy game. It's a lot that goes into the NFL. And you're not about to walk into the NFL and think you're just about to catch and turn around. Try again, homeboy. Do your research on the NFL, man. Watch some football games, old games, new games, whatever you want to watch, and catch up on it, man, because 30 dudes in the NFL and the NBA. James Jones, homeboy. drop the mic. May 8th. Drop the mic. All right, that was a lot, but here's the response because Austin responded on Twitter. Here's the response and what James had to say to the next thing. Guys, this gets out of hand. Let's run it. Oh, he said you're a little meathead. He said he's never heard of you. Cool. He said you sound salty, mm -hmm. and he told you to beat it. James Jones, what do you say to Austin mm -hmm. River? All right, homeboy. Since I'm, <laughs> since I'm a meathead, I'm, I'm going to stick with my homeboy, man, because we all, we all TV. All right? I see 11 seasons. Seven different teams. Mm. Top 10 pick. Mm. I see averaging nine points a game over your career. Just two it. rebounds, two, two assists just two over your career. That's it? Top 10 pick. You know what that sound like what to that me? Sound like? In the streets, we call you a bust. Oh. That's what that sound like. Now, if my daddy played in the NBA, what and I 
But coming out of the draft, I'd probably be a top 10 pick too, homeboy. But once I get into the league, I ought to handle my business. Now, I led the league in touchdowns. I won a Super he Bowl. Did that. He did do that. In the highest league. You he did none did of that. that. You don't got no all-stars. You got you no nothing. Well, you're not going to have that because you got nine points, two assists, Ooh. two steals Ooh. in the game. 65% free throws. So I ain't even going to keep on going back and forth with you. All I'm going to say is, is you 6'4", 200, maybe you should have tried football. Mm. You might have had a better career, homeboy. Mm. Basketball was not your career. With what I'm reading right here. So I'm gonna leave it at that. I don't go back and forth with people Ooh. on Twitter, man. I ain't Ooh. even really on that thing like that. Mm. So you got it, my brother. They went from meet the grass to meet the rivers. Whoa. Let's hear what Austin had to say. So I love that response. Now, there's some stuff that's been going on on Twitter as well between all these guys, JJ Watt, James Jones, back and forth, all that, right? I mean, it. Of course, now we have egos involved. You have a bunch of retired guys that are now commentators who think their sport was the hardest, of course, right? But at the end of the day, Austin Rivers did that on his own, unprovoked, saying that an NBA player could come over and be an or yeah, an NBA player could come over and be an NFL player, which I think was kind of was kind of ridiculous to say overall. Personally, as someone who played high school basketball and high school football, I will say. You have to know more to play football. I mean, our playbook, especially for your skill position, I was a receiver and safety. Our skill positions are very, very tough. There's so many different route trees and things you have to do and the way you line up. It's definitely not a snap the ball and run type of situation. Um, and then with basketball, though, there's a lot of sets as well. There's a lot that goes on. I feel like basketball is more of a nonstop game, less stop and go. So I definitely see how it could be tough or hard or difficult. I think these both guys got crazy. But let's hear what... Um, Austin Rivers had to say to James Jones's response. James Jones, you're an idiot. I saw your comments. I'm going to make this video. This is my last response with you, man. I don't even know who you are, so this is kind of silly. We're only here in the first place because you got offended that I said there are NBA players, a handful of NBA players that can make the transfer over to the NFL. If you want to talk about numbers, there's a glaring difference between you and me in one regard, and we both know what that is, but I'm not a tacky guy, so I don't really want to talk finance, especially with a guy that I earned, I think your whole career earnings was like one year of mine. Your comments on trying to make fun of me for my NBA career because I was a role player. Like, brother, that's pretty dope, man. I played 11 years in the league. I was privileged to make really, really good money and play for all these dope cities and teams uh, while living out my dreams. I didn't know that was something to be made fun of while also being a lottery pick. Which leads me to my next, your, your other comment on why I was a lottery pick. Why would a team draft me lottery, bro? Just because my dad coaches a completely different other team. It makes zero sense. I was a lottery pick because two years prior, I was the number one player in America. That's why you see like the Naismith Trophy and a bunch of other trophies hanging around here. The year after that, I led Duke University in scoring as a freshman. and was ACC Freshman Player of the Year uh, and also ACC All First Team. And then I also led FIBA 18 and 19 to a gold medal. Uh, we had led that team in scoring, by the way, and we had players like Kyrie Irving and other supersonic talents on that team. So, yeah, that might have something to do with why I was drafted in the lottery, bro. Okay, so with all of that being said, I mean, it, it, James Jones has definitely said some things also offline and on the show talking about, you know, why he was drafted, all the things that Austin just went over. And now we have just have two guys battling back and forth. We're going to hear what Charles Barkley has to say about the whole situation, too, here in a second. But before we get to Charles, this is just more of an ego thing. I think anytime you flex that you made more money than someone else is kind of messed up. At the end of the day, James Jones did win a Super Bowl. You did not win a championship. Um, you're playing in an NBA that pays way more than any other sport because there are less people on the or way more than football because there are less people on the team and their salary caps are different. It's just structured differently, right? I don't think money should be a thing. James Jones played in a different era as well. Um, players weren't making as much money as they make now. So I think it's, you know, that was a little bit classless, especially being a kid that does come from a wealthier family. That comes off a little classless, Austin, because at the end of the day, you were one of the best because of some of the things you were afforded, which is awesome. Like, bro, you, you were still with it. You were still a dog. I remember I used to watch your highlights. You still had some great NBA games. But that, you're talking about a guy who kind of, it, it's just a different type of upbringing to success story. You know what I mean? So I think that was kind of classless. But uh, let's hear what Charles had to say, and then I'll give you guys my final wrap-up on the whole situation. Oh, I got to call out Austin Rivers. For what? Austin Rivers, you yeah. know I love you. We can't play football. Yeah, we can. He no, right. we can. yeah, we no, we can't. No, we can't. Austin Rivers, yeah. you're doing Austin, a great job. Right. 
But to, to, to yeah, say that can. we got 30 or 40 can. NBA players who can go play in the NFL. Oh, we can't play we, football. We, stand up right now. Uh, uh, I, I dare you to stand right now. Shaq, football no, no, is no, no, a no. Shaq. Stand up right there right now. Foot, foot. And, 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 uh, football and is a grown like man's hey, sport. We are so let me show you. Shaq, we got something for you. Well, Shaq, of course, gets angry at Charles for saying that, you know, basketball players couldn't play football, at least at the highest level. Um, but also Shaq is someone a little different, right? We're talking seven foot two, 350 pounds, I think, at 1.400. I think it was his heaviest in the league so I mean yeah there was definitely a place for someone like Shaq and Shaq when he was younger when he was 100 pounds even lighter and like super agile and a freak I mean he could have played tight end for sure yeah there's definitely different things that could have worked out and happened for him we saw LeBron was a great basketball player that played football in high school and was really good and before he focused on basketball there's definitely some 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 things that go along with that but overall guys I think this just turned into a petty battle between guys that um you know both probably feel like they have a lot to prove at times. James Jones is a great receiver, but I know he's someone that has definitely been forgotten a little bit. It took me a moment to remember who he was, and that's not like a bad thing. He, the guy's a beast. Freaking Hall of Famer for sure in my mind. Um, played a very great career. Um, with Austin Rivers, he's always been called a coach's son, an NBA player's son, so he's probably got a complex or an issue with that. But I think this was a really fun and interesting conversation and issue. Let me know what you guys think, man. This was really, really interesting. Their back and forths have been funny. Um, but more videos coming, man. We're in the... We're, we're Pumping. We're getting this thing done, reviewing different content, trying to leave positive messages. Try not to let your insecurities come out when we're having an argument or a beef with someone. It definitely shows. That's kind of the lesson for this video. But we're going to keep uploading, guys. We're going to keep pushing. We're going to keep driving through. I appreciate love you guys as always. If you guys have any videos or anything that you see, you want to send them to me on IG, please do. Uh, train with Quan, and I can make reviews and videos about it. We're going to be keep. We're going to keep this thing going, keep pumping forward. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Subscribe. Thanks.